Okay, I just want to show the previous cases. They sued a Muslim man named Curtis Hayes Muhammad, harassed him over a greenhouse, and this was the case number, case 2018CU3. Another is a Hispanic man over building regulations while ignoring all this blight in the community. Uh, there's the case number for that and the name of that, Baca POA versus Sandy Bayardo. Here's another black Latino family that Carmen Gonzalez, and uh, there's the case number for that. Actually, uh, this family actually recorded, I believe it was Steve Dawson back giving them instructions, building instructions, and even so, they sued them for doing that, and the judge had, he played the recording in court, and the judge ruled against them anyway. So this is what your chances are with these judges. Uh, there was a veteran struggling with emotional issues. A lot of you may know Jonathan Jarvis. Hang on, we're going to scroll down. And uh, actually, there's, that's his house that they burned down. You guys may have known about that. Um, really wanted to hurt that guy. So uh, there was also a Native American man who they sued over his teepee, uh, which was his prayer space. And my God, the San Luis Valley is Native American property. Well, not officially, but there it is. There's that case. They sued him over his TP, which was his prayer space, much in the same way they're doing me. So um, I'm sure I can find a lot about these. When we go to others, say like Donovan Spitzman, you'll see that uh, his house uh, on Virtue Way in the film uh, Steve Dossenbach, the POA president, did the electrical for it. You also see Don Tullis's house, and uh, he has the same driveway I have in cleared space where he keeps his camper, and he never filed for a permit, and uh, was never harassed. But of course, he's of the same white male and political affiliations as the POA. Um, also, the neighbor you see on the corner of North Chaparral Way and Camino Real Road, I mean, uh, Baco, Baca Grande Camino, oh my God, I can't even think of it. Anyway, he uh, he's uh, allowed to keep, uh, you know, all those cars and campers and boats and junk in his yard and with no consequences. And uh, he's a white male that works on their cars. Um, so um, I could go on and on with this. It's uh, certainly all in my federal lawsuit, which has already been filed and uh, bombs away. I mean, it's already been done. So, um, we are uh, hoping to affect some change with all this. Uh, we know Steve Dawson back left the community after ripping through $3 million of the POA's money and showing, having no, no accomplishments for it except really harassing and harming a few people. Uh, Curtis Muhammad was the sweetest man you will ever meet. Um, he moved away. Uh, of course, Jonathan Jarvis, that troubled veteran, moved away. Um, Bob Garnett died. He was an elderly man, um, uh, politically and socially opposed to their um, to their tactics, and uh, he was harassed by them quite a bit. 